Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Your Math by Kona YouTube channel. Today in this video let us discuss Classroom Based Assessment 2 that is FA3 conducted by SCERT Andhra Pradesh on 8th February 2023. Here let us do the problems from mathematics question paper. Let us do the first problem. The ratio of male to female in a family is 3 is to 2. One day, an uncle and an auntie visit the family. The ratio of male to female on that day will be. Here, the ratio of male to female is 3 is to 2. So, male to female. This is 3 is to 2. This doesn't mean that there are 3 men and 2 women. This, this doesn't mean. If there is uh, like uh, 6 male people and... 4 female people, still the ratio is 3 is to 2. Now, if one uncle and one auntie added to this, that means it doesn't mean that this is plus 1 and this is plus 1. Okay, suppose if this is uh, 3 plus 1, then it will be 4, this will be 3. Here, if you take plus 1 plus 1, so this is 7 and this is 5. So, we can't say the perfect ratio. So, unless until we know how many people are there in the family, we can't say the final ratio. So, we can't say without knowing the number of people in the family. So, option D is correct. Next, second one, what is the measure of angle BAC in the triangle ABC shown below? So, here BAC, this one. Here, sum of three angles equal to 180 degrees in a triangle. So, angle A, let us take our angle BAC plus 45 plus 95 which is equal to 180 degrees. So, 45 plus 95 means this is 140. So, angle BAC equal to 180 minus 140 which is equal to 40 degrees. So, option A is correct. Let us go to the next problem. 300 students were surveyed on the type of pet they owned. The table shows the results of the survey. Here we are given some type of pet, type of pet, number of students, cats, dogs, birds, fishes like that. Which pie chart best represents the data represented in the table? Here, if you observe the pie charts, those are given in percentages. So, let us find out the percentages here also. Here, total number of students equal to given that there is equal to 300. Now, Cats, that is how much? 30. So, cats equal to, cats percentage, let us calculate, that is equal to 30 by 300 times 100. So, 0 and 0 gets cancelled, 0, 0 gets cancelled, 3, 3 gets cancelled, it will be 10%. So, what about dogs? Dogs equal to 90. So, 90 by 300 into 100. Two zeros, two zeros will be cancelled, 3 times 1 and 3 times 30. That will be 30%. So, cats 10%, dogs 30%. Let us check in the options. Option D is correct. Next. Fourth problem. Which of these is same as 4 raised to power 3? So, 4 raised to power 3 means 4 cube. That will be equal to 4 into 4 into 4. So, option C is correct. Next, fifth one. In a group of 10 children, 5 children had 10 pencils each and the other 5 children had 8 pencils each. What is the average number of pencils that the group has? So, average means we need to find out the mean. Uh, in the first part, 5 children had 10 pencils. So, total pencils will be 5 times 10 which is equal to 50. Then 5 children had 8 pencils. Total pen pencils will be 5 times 8 which is equal to 40. So, the total will be 90. So, there are total 90 pencils are there. Total number of people is 10. So, the average will be 90 by 10 which is equal to 9. So, option C is correct. Next, sixth one. The table below shows the number of different types of books sold in a certain week in a bookstore. Here we are given some books. Which type of book was sold the most in that week? 
So that means we need to find out, suppose if you take biographies, we need to find out the total here so that we can say which, which book was sold uh, the most in that week. So we need to calculate the sum. So 14 plus 3 plus 11 plus 15 plus 20 plus 22. And this is 95. Then that will be 90. Here 150, this is 150. So here these numbers looks like somewhat smaller. So 150 is that one uh, is the largest one. Mystery, mystery. Yes, yeah. so option C is correct. Let us go to the next one. 20 for every 100 is same as 10 for every dash. It is like ratio. 20 for every 100. So 20 is to 100. Is same as 10 for every, how much is that? Here if you observe these two, 20 divided by 2 is 10. So it will be 100 divided by 2. So here 20 divided by 2 is 10. Here also we can take 100 divided by 2. So that will be 50. So answer is 50. Option B is correct. Eighth problem. Given below are three sets of sticks. Which of these sets of sticks can be used to make an equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangle means all the sticks must be equal in size, in length. So here set 2 if you observe all the sticks are of equal length. So B is correct. Next, the graph below shows the number of caps sold in a shop on four days of a certain week. So here we are given Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday like that. On what day was the number of caps sold 1 by 5 or 1 fifth of the total number of caps sold? First of all, let us find out the total number of caps in on each day. Monday it is uh, yeah, 90. Tuesday it is in between for in between 30 and 40 it may be let us take that one as 35 here Wednesday it is in between 10 and 20 so let us take this one as 15 and then Thursday let us take that one as uh, you see 30 so the total will be 90 35 15 30 so if you add 5 plus 5 10 uh, 9 plus 1 10 and 7 so 170 now if you take on Monday, Monday will be 90 by 170. So this is 9 by 17. So it can't be equal to 1 by 5. Then Tuesday let us take 35 divided by 170. Whether it is equal to 1 by 5 or not let us check. Here we can cancel with 5, 5 times 7 and this is 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20. So it is approximately 7 times 1 and this is 7 times 5 is 35 approximately. So it is approximately equal to 1 by 5. So 1 by 5. So option B, Tuesday is correct. And Wednesday and Thursday those are not equal to 1 by 5. Let us go to the next one. Amar, Jyoti and Sagar have 3 sticks each. The lengths of their sticks are given below. And then who among these will be able to form triangle using their sticks? So here... To form a triangle, we need to use uh, triangle inequalities. We know that if we have a triangle like this, suppose this is A, B, C. So sum of any two sides must be greater than the third side. Uh, if you take Amar, 5 plus 5, 10 greater than 9, then 5 plus 9 greater than 5. So it works. So Amar can form the triangle. Now Jyoti, let us take here 7, 12, 4. If you add 7 and 4, that will be 11. It is not greater than 12. So it is less than 12. So Jyoti can't make a triangle. Next Sagar, 11, 17, 7. Here also it works, Sagar. So Amar and Sagar can form triangles. So option C is correct. Next, 11th one. In the figure below, angle P equal to 30. So this is 30. Given that this is 90 degrees. We need to find out what is the measure of angle RQS. RQS that means this is this is what we need to find out. This is exterior angle and exterior angle equals to sum of two remote interior angles. So this angle will be equal to 30 plus 90 which is equal to 120 degrees. So option C is correct. Next 12th one. 
which of the following is equal to y square times y to the power of 7. This is of the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n which is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So y square into y to the power of 5 which is equal to y to the power of 2 plus 5 that is y to the power of 7. So option C is correct. Next one. Deepthi borrowed rupees 2400 for one year at a simple interest of 12% per annum. How much interest will she pay at the end of the year? So we need to find out the interest I equal to that is uh, PRN by 100 that is equal to P is 2400 or rate is 12% per annum into N number of years uh, how many at the end of one year so 1 divided by 100 two zeros two zeros will be cancelled 24 into 12 12 times 4 is 48 then 12 times 2 is 24 plus 4 so 28 288 option C is correct Next 14th problem, if 5 people make 2.5 kg of sugar in 10 days, in how many days will 20 people make 5 kg of sugar? So here let us take here people, then here sugar in kgs, then here days let us take. People, first 5 people, then that is increased to how many people? 20 people. So let us take here 20. Sugar, first it is 2.5, then it is 5 kg, so 5. Days, number of days, first it is in 10 days, so 10, then how many days in the second case? So let us take this one as x. Now here we can write, uh, first you write x by 10, x by 10, that is equal to, now check whether people and sugar, these are how these are related with days. So if you take the people, if people is increased, then to make the same amount of sugar, number of days will be decreased. If the number of people is increased, then number of days will be decreased. Why? Because there are more people, then they can do the same work in less days. So these two are in inverse proportion. So if we take x by 10 in inverse proportion, we can we have to take 5 by 20. So 5 by 20. Then times sugar. You see, if sugar is increased, number of days that also must be increased. So that means we can take, we need to take in direct proportion. So x by 10 we took. So 5 by 2.5 you need to take. 5 by 2.5. So this is in opposite direction. Yeah, okay. So now, uh, let us calculate the value of x from this one. This is uh, 5 times 1 and this is 5 times 4. Now, let us take x equal to, send this 10 to right side, 5 by 2.5. In the denominator, we have 4 also. If you send this 10 to right side into 10. So here, this will be equal to 2 times 2, this one, and 2 times 5. This is equal to 5 into 5 divided by 2.5 into 2 that is 5 so 5 5 gets cancelled that is equal to 5 so answer is 5 option a is correct next problem what is the simplest form of the compound ratio of 9 is to 8 and 8 is to 19 so 9 is to 8 8 is to 19 compound ratio means 9 into 8 is to 8 into 19 8 into 19 8, 8 gets cancelled. So, 9 is to 19. That is the answer. So, option A is correct. Let us go to 16th problem. A shopkeeper marks the price of a computer system is uh, at rupees 50,000. A customer buys it for rupees 45,000 after negotiation. Find the amount of discount given by the shopkeeper. So, original amount or marked price is 50,000. So, this is marked price we can take. Selling price, selling price ESP equal to rupees how much? 45,000. These are in rupees. Then discount equal to, discount equal to, there is a market price minus selling price, which is equal to 50,000 minus 45,000, which is equal to just rupees 5,000. 5,000 is the answer. Then 17th one. Write this one in the form of exponents. 
just check how many p's are there 1 2 3 4 4 p's are there so p to the power of 4 then q then r into r so r square this is the answer for 17th one next 18th one suppose that 8m equal to 27 then what is the value of 4m so to get 4m we can do it in two ways just divide by 2 on both sides so do you will get 2 times 1 and this is 2 times 4 so 4m equal to 27 by 2 this is the answer or we can do like uh, 8m equal to 27 so from that m equal to 27 by 8 we need to get 4m so 4m equal to 4 into 27 by 8 this is 4 times 1 and this is 4 times 2 so that will be equal to 27 by 2 so that is the answer next last problem 19th problem shown here are points earned by ajay and his friends in the game of uh, tetris here who scored 55 points you observe in the diagram 55 that means in between 50 and 60 uh, you see here shiva this is in between exactly in between 50 and 60 rajesh is also in between 50 and 60 but it is somewhat closer to 50 so 55 points means exactly at the middle so shiva is there so shiva next how many points did ajay score ajay ajay this one ajay so it is in between 70 and 80 it may be like 75 so 75 points ajay scored with that seventh class with that seventh class cba mathematics paper is being solved if you like my explanation please subscribe my channel yours kona kiran reddy thank you